So, you got detention. Now, join me this time as I ramble about the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Soldier. Now, now, the, the shift, shift from, from when when the Wonder, Wonder Woman to this show, show was relatively easy. easy. Yeah. Uh, I, really I really like, like Falcon, Falcon and I, I like, Bucky. like Bucky. Now, and now this show, this show will take some keynotes from the Wilson, Wilson as run as, as Captain America. America. Got, got me honestly, honestly a bit excited. excited. Truth, Truth is, is Marvel media doesn't excite much as it did much as it did in years ago. The last movie for the movies before the face he face some had half joy something in enjoying in it well at least in my opinion. Now, okay, I get to the fucking point. On the mission was a mixed bag back from me. Uh, uh, so solid, like, not, not too groundbreaking, but, but still, still entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. So it might come as a surprise, get I get much more out, out of uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now, Captain America is deeply political and so is the show. So, what is it about? Well, Bucky and Sam team up to fight against, let's say, a group of super serum injected fighters that have a certainly good argument for fight fight for what they're just fighting the way for, just the, the way that they do it isn't the necessarily right the right one to or the right way to do it. I like to point out that I too have like similar like feelings, like the flag sometimes smashes, sometimes, sometimes how when it comes to a uh, how to change the, the world, uh, but now back to the pair. Uh, uh, the pair, I mean, unlike the alien allies in a fight, have to deal with a new cat in America and to grow and help each other to grow. What I like is Sam and how anything that he can face him. him. Same, Same goes, goes for Batman and Buck Park or White Wolf or Winter Soldier or whatever. I have seen Endgame and although I fell asleep halfway through it and I care too much for the moment to help to watch back and then again that I don't see my reservation and become Captain America Captain America player practically existed. I know from the comics I know from the comics that both partners Steve partners Bucky beats Sam to be Captain America so I, I even made a I video, made a video that they are uh, back in the day, a third video on this channel, video on this watch it if you want to, watch it if you want to, but I just say much, but I'm just saying, say I'm just saying, anyway, uh, both, anyway, Anthony uh, Mackie and Sebastian Sam, Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Sam feel really comfortable in their respective roles, and I guess that's because they have been playing them them for so damn long. White Russell uh, is doing great as John Walker, aka Captain America, uh, aka spoiler, but not really a spoiler. If you're a fucking comic fan, US agent, he seems to have inherited the right genes from his active parents. So White Russell is really great. Can't really hate on the guy or the character. So so don't and uh, stop sending this mad death threats. That's not something Steve Rogers would do, and if you respect Cap, Cap that shit, you know. If you dislike a character of mine, but don't hate, but don't hate the actors for doing their fucking job. Through John Walker, it's explored how often veterans are abandoned by the system that created them in the first place. Uh, John is also the antithesis to Steve Rogers, you know. John is a good soldier, but not a great person who still sets out to do good. And that's really admirable. And it would be interesting to see him in an Avengers team in the near future. Now, Zemo is brought in clo and closer to his comic route, which I love. I'm glad he wasn't killed off back in Captain America Civil War and got to survive to be in this show. Without, break without him breaking the Avengers first, their defeat at the hands of Thanos would have not been swift. Uh, nah, fuck, fuck that. Swift is not the right word here because Infinity War is like two hours long or even more. Let me say easier. You know, Thanos would have not them, not defeated them as easy. Anyway, uh, the show makes effort to layer him more and well, his mission isn't over. You know, so there's a chance to see him again. And I long for a moment to see him again. <laughs> Further, I like the inclusion of Isaiah Bradley and Eli Bradley. Sadly, Sadly there is no Josiah X, who's the son of Isaiah Bradley. I bet at this point, uh, Josiah X is pretty much forgotten, but I haven't forgotten. Uh, I think it's kind of sad, you know, because this whole storyline is around soldiers that were forgotten during the war, were not acknowledged, and Isaiah gets this acknowledgement, which is very nice. Now, the implications of the script of the past is well explored for the time constraint, the time being in the show. You know, I grew 
grew up in Germany and still lived there, where the country's dark past is pretty much worn on its sleeve. So it's kind of different, you know, yeah, because uh, America wears so much inside but doesn't show it, so much of its dirty secrets, you know, and stuff like that. So there were these experiments in America where they tested on black folks, various viruses, and illnesses to see the effects while pretending to give the medicines and as what was picked up in the America, uh, in the Captain America book Truth, Wet, Truth, Red and White which uh, which details Isaiah Bradley's backstory and well leads then to Josiah and then to Eli Bradley. Now Eli Bradley is patron uh, in the comics or was Patriot because he has retired um, the mantle of Patriot and not been seen since, which is kind of sad. Josiah Bradley has also disappeared from the comics yeah, just of, as his son um, Josiah X. So, yeah, lots of implications. Uh, the only, my only gripe is that flashback to how Isaiah rescued his brothers would have been better than just exposition. Okay, after playing all this um now I get to the greasier parts and stuff like that. Overall, the story is told in a good way, there's a good amount of action and many character moments. It looks amazing, like on a movie quality, you know, nothing like the previous Marvel shows that you saw on Netflix, but really high elevated stuff similar to WandaVision, which also had a high production quality. Ultimately, what felt flat, what fell a bit flat are the flex matches is antagonist or rival force or whatever uh, especially the leader uh, Carly Morgenfeld now Flex Smash is in the comics already a C-list or D-list villain and they didn't really expand the identity or make them a viable threat you know uh, the leader is Carly Morgenfeld portrayed by Erin Kellyman uh, she's given the right words by the script but she simply doesn't come off as a leader of a nation white group, you know, she doesn't have the right gravitas to deliver the messages and speeches, you know. That's what that is said to me. Uh, the true mass of her group is never shown, only told. So yeah, it's told to be big and nationwide, but that doesn't really come off either, you know. It feels fairly isolated. And it's not the show's so fucking fault, but due to what happens currently in our world, uh, I noticed something too that is unlike the Netflix shows, and that is that with the Disney Plus shows are on the other side of pacing issues mentioned that in WandaVision before, but in certain areas of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier it doesn't take enough time. Also there is a missing storyline that got cut which ultimately hurts the end product much more than leaving it in, I think. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is no must watch of the year, but still good and you should watch it if you take the time, you know, if you take yourself the time to watch it. Anyway, I liked it and personally I give it a 7 plus out of 10, you know, it's so close to being an 8, but 7 plus is more appropriate in my eyes. Anyways, this is my show and this is how I write things, so yeah, be fine with it. Anyways, check it out for yourself if you have access to Disney Plus or through other methods to watch it. And tell me in the comments how wrong my opinion is and what a horrible person I am. So, see you next time when I ramble about the Shang-Chi trailer. I'm sorry, wait, who are you? Captain America. Now get the fuck out of my driveway.